The Q2 Stadium is located in Austin, Texas, and was inaugurated in 2021. It is the home of Austin FC, an MLS team. There will be two matches of the Conmebol Copa America USA 2024. First, the match between Jamaica and Venezuela will be played, for Group B, on June 30. Precisely in the 2016 Copa Centenario, they also shared a group and there was a victory for Vinodin 2 by 1 to 0. The second match to be played at the Q2 Stadium will be for Group D on July 2, between Paraguay and the winner of the playoffs between Costa Rica and Honduras. The Q2 Stadium had an ecological design and construction, which was distinguished with the LEED Gold Certificate, an American program that rewards environmental improvement and human health. For example, it complies with the COA Dark Skies initiative to reduce light pollution and water consumption both outdoors, 55%, and indoors, 32%. In addition, the United States national team played a World Cup qualifier match at the stadium for Qatar 2022, and it also hosted one of the semifinals of the CONCACAF Gold Cup 2021. Two of the matches of the Conmebol Copa America USA will be played at the Q2, which is already prepared for the great event of 2024. Q2 Stadium, Austin, Texas Located in the center of the country, it will host two matches of the Conmebol Copa America Estados Unidos 2024. It has a capacity of 20,700 people. The Q2 Stadium is a soccer-specific stadium located in the North Burnett section of North Austin, Texas, United States. It is the home of Austin FC, a major league soccer, MLS, team that began play in 2021. The stadium hosted its first event on June 16, 2021, an international friendly between the United States women's national team and Nigeria. The earliest noted development of the tract of land was in 1956, when the land was christened as a 23.5-acre chemical manufacturing plant. The manufacturing plant produced various chemicals for Reichhold chemicals, generally peroxides, for the majority of its 29 years as a chemical plant. The facility was closed following a series of on-site safety incidents in December, 1985, which made it economically infeasible to operate. The land was annexed into the Austin city limits on July 19, 1973. Reichhold's parent company, Dick Corporation, sold the land to the city of Austin in 1995 for $1.4 million, with the city planning on using it as the Austin Water North Service Center. However, during construction of the facility in 2003, an explosion occurred, with workers finding illegally stored chemical waste on the site. Remediation was undertaken, stripping the site down to bedrock. The city sued Dick, and received $3.6 million. When Precourt Sports Ventures, operator of Columbus Crew SC, announced they were intending to move the team to Austin, city staff identified eight potential sites for a permanent stadium. 1014 McCalla Place was identified as one of those eight sites, and following some public debate, became the prime candidate following the Austin City Council meeting on March 22, 2018. After several sessions, the Austin City Council granted the city manager the authority to negotiate and execute a lease with the 7-4 vote during a special session on August 15, 2018. The city announced that the lease had been completed and signed on December 19, 2018. The 20-year lease of the site includes yearly rent of $550,000 beginning in year 6, with an additional $3.6 million being given to Cap Metro for transit. The stadium would be fully financed and built with private money, though stadium ownership would be held by the city itself. The club has the ability to extend the lease up to three times, with each extension being 10 years. The approximately 20,500-seat stadium was expected to cost $260 million, with team operator Precourt Sports Ventures privately financing the construction. Twelve other elements for the 24-acre site and surroundings include green space, potential housing, and mixed-use retail. In March 2019, 
Precourt Sports named Austin Commercial as the construction manager and Gensler as the lead architect for the stadium, and announced that groundbreaking will take place in September 2019. Rezoning the site to stadium requirements passed Austin City Council unanimously on June 6, 2019. On August 19, 2019, a site plan for the Austin FC Stadium in North Austin was approved by the City of Austin, Texas. In January 2021, Austin FC entered a naming rights partnership with Q2 Holdings, a local online banking provider, resulting in the stadium formally being named Q2 Stadium on January 25, 2021. Q2 Stadium sits next to McCalla Station on Cap Metro's Red Line commuter rail service, opened in 2024 specifically to serve the stadium. Before then, the closest existing station on the Red Line was Kramer Station, about a 0.5-mile walk from the stadium. The new station provides a much shorter and more direct walking route from rail services to the stadium without having to cross any roads. Kramer Station is expected to be relocated about 0.6 mile 0.97 kilometers, north to the Broadmoor campus and be renamed Broadmoor Station. Bus connections to the stadium include Cap Metro Rapid Route 803 and Cap Metro Bus Routes 3, 383, 392, and 466. The stadium opened on June 16, 2021, hosting an international women's friendly between the United States and Nigeria. Chris and Press scored the first ever goal in the stadium. Austin FC played their first ever match at the stadium on June 19, 2021, against the San Jose Earthquakes. The match ended with a 0-0 draw in front of a sellout crowd of 20,738. On July 1, 2021, John Gallagher scored the first ever competitive goal in Q2 stadium history, during the 27th minute of Austin FC's third ever regular MLS season home match versus Portland Timbers, eventually finishing as a 4 to 1 win to Austin FC. On July 29, 2021, USA beat Qatar in the Gold Cup semi finals on Agassi Zerdi's goal in the 86th minute, and Q2 hosted its first World Cup qualifying match that October, a 2 to 0 win against Jamaica. Q2 hosted its first Nations League match on June 10, 2022, a 5-0 win against Granada. FC Dallas striker Jesus Ferreira scored four goals for the Americans in the match, the first ever hat trick in Q2 Stadium. On July 4, 2022, Q2 Stadium held its first non-sporting event, when it hosted Willie Nelson's 4th of July picnic and fireworks show, an annual event that was started in 1972. On July 30, 2022, Q2 hosted its first non-soccer event, Premier Rugby Sevens, featuring a single-day Rugby Sevens tournament with the experts, loonies, headliners, and loggerheads. PR7S returned to Q2 on June 17, 2023, for the Eastern Conference kickoff. In December 2023, Q2 was selected to host two matches for the 2024 Copa America, an annual Canmebol soccer tournament. Copa America is the oldest national team soccer tournament in the world. Q2 was one of 14 stadiums selected in the United States and one of three soccer-specific stadiums chosen to host matches. Later that month, the 2024 Copa America draw revealed that the first game would feature Venezuela and Jamaica, and the second game would feature Paraguay and the winner of qualifying playoff match between Costa Rica and Honduras. Q2 Stadium is a multi-purpose venue that has been strategically designed to accommodate a variety of community and spectator events, including professional soccer events ranging from MLS to U.S. Women's National Team, USWT, and U.S. Men's National Team, USMNT, matches, additional professional and amateur sporting events, concerts ranging from headliner acts and festivals to smaller, up-and-coming artists, community activities and cultural events, and private functions, such as corporate meetings and weddings. The stadium's maximum capacity is 20,500. One of the unique features of the stadium is an amphitheater right outside the stadium, 
with a maximum capacity of 3,000. The modernly designed stadium is a must-see, located near the domain, a popular shopping, dining and entertainment area. This is the Q2 Stadium, a 20,738 capacity soccer-specific stadium that opened in June 2021 and arriving as one of three new venues debuting in MLS this season. The state of Texas boasts 13 professional sports teams, but none come with as much hype and excitement as Austin FC. Thank you for watching this video.